Hey y'all, what's good? It's your girl Tay and I'm back with another Instacart video. So first things first, you guys definitely make sure you smash that like button. As always, comment down below. Let me know how Instacart is treating you in your area, city, state. And uh, yeah, definitely subscribe with your bell button turned on so that way anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. So, as you can tell by the title, I did an experiment this weekend. Today is Sunday. First of all, happy Father's Day to any fathers out there that's doing Instacart when you should be home or you can't be home. Whatever the case may be, we appreciate you guys. So, happy Father's Day. So, I did an experiment this weekend where I decided to basically do a comparison of the earnings potential between working with on-demand Instacart or working on Shift. So, yesterday, I did six hours. I was scheduled two to five, and then I gave myself an hour break in between, and then I was scheduled from six to nine. So in that time, I did four batches yesterday, um, and I made a total of $93, which I'm gonna put on the screen somewhere so that you guys can see. Um, one was for $45, and majority of that was from tips. It was originally $22.76, and then I got an $18 tip from the customer, as well as quality bonus, of three dollars and I think there was additional peak boost pay but I'm not exactly sure then I had three other smaller orders there was a seven dollar order nine dollar order with a two dollar tip so no seven dollars with a two dollar tip so that made it nine and then I had another uh, full service order which was twenty six dollars um, I believe that one was actually originally less than that but um, I got another quality bonus of three dollars from that customer so that brought it up so $26 for that order and then I think my final order was a small one it was uh, $12 seven of that came from Instacart and five dollars came from the tip so grand total for yesterday $93 and I believe 26 cents today so far I've actually only completed two batches with on demand but I took some screenshots of the batches that were coming in because the purpose was just to take a look at the batches that are coming in um, to show you guys to see if I could make more with doing on demand or if I can make more with working on ship. Um, yesterday, to be perfectly honest, is not, I wouldn't say it's not realistic, but I don't expect it to be like that every day because usually when I'm on shift, the orders are not coming in like that. I mean, yesterday I was really busy to the point where um, for my first, the first half of my shift from two to five, I ended up getting a batch right before 5 o'clock. It was like 4.40 or 4.45 or something like that. And it ran over, so I ended up not being done until 5.30. And then I only had a 20-minute break. Well, I had a little bit more than that because um, when my shift started at 6, I didn't get the first batch until 6.30. So I had a little bit less than an hour break between 5.30 and 6.30. Um, but I want to say results are not typical. Because like I said, for me, in my marketplace, the orders haven't been coming in like that. I think that because of the holiday, this is the holiday weekend, um, it's Father's Day, people were trying to prepare to do their barbecues or even just to cook a nice dinner for their husbands, fathers, grandfathers, or whatever the, the case may be, that everyone was trying to get their shop on yesterday or at least get us to get their, get, get their stuff for them so that they could cook. But um, all in all, I'm, I'm still happy because... Uh, it gives you the opportunity to see how much you could make on a day when everything is going well. I actually had an Instacart shopper send me a message um, on one of my videos where um, they told me that they made $933 was their biggest payout um, in one week. And that they're doing very well. They're in West Virginia. So it just goes to show um, for those of you who are seriously thinking about becoming Instacart shoppers, I definitely think it's still a great platform. The earnings potential are really, really great compared to Uber Eats or DoorDash or any of the um, food courier services because the payouts are much lar larger for obvious reasons. So um, it is a, ho a lot more hard work, you know what I mean? You're going to work, you're going to sweat. So if this is not, you know what I mean, if that's not something that you want to do, get out there and actually work. Um, be shopping, lifting heavy things in and out, then I definitely don't think Instacart is for you. However, if you are thinking to yourself, you know what, I wouldn't mind making some extra cash, even if it's just part-time. You know what I mean? Even if it's just part-time. But I wanted to do this video mainly because um, I've been getting a lot of comments about how some people are saying that they don't get on-demand on batches while they're on shift. And I wanted to do some clarification too. 
So first of all, you're not going to get on-demand orders while you are on shift. Um, I witnessed that for myself on a day where I was working a shift. I believe it was 11 to 1. And when from about 8 a.m. till 11, on-demand batches was all on my screen. But as soon as 11 started and my shift started, that screen went away and then it just went to the heat map. So you're not going to receive any on-demand batches while you are actually working on shift. You have to be off shift to get those, not working on hours. Another thing that I wanna say, if I didn't say it in my other video, is that on-demand is not available in every zone. I know it's rolling out. It should be getting to to every city and state that has Instacart, I believe, um, but it's not everywhere. I mean, I just got it and I'm in California. I just, we literally just got it as of what, a week ago, maybe even less than that. We just had it, but I saw that some other people had it already or got it like a week before us. Um, some other places, I think when they were in the testing phases, got it maybe a couple of months back or whenever, but it's still rolling out. So some places are going to have on demand only some places are going to have not no on demand and they're only going to be able to work off shift meaning they have to grab hours and then some areas are going to have um what do you call that some places are going to have um both like my zone i have both i can work on shift or i can do on demand so getting back to the earnings for um on demand <sighs> I only accepted two batches. The first one was for $30. It was actually two full service orders that I accepted. Um, sorry, something is in my eye, but it was two full service orders. Um, so I had to shop for two different customers at one time, and that was $30. I believe that one customer tipped me $4, the other customer tipped me 10, and I think the rest of the payment for that one came from Instacart. And then I received a small order um, it was literally a delivery only, which is $5 for delivery only. It was for one customer, four bags. Um, I just had to go in there, literally scan the bags, pick it up, drop it off. Customer gave me a $2 tip. Um, I meant to <laughs> take some other uh, batches today, but like I said, I just went on ahead and took some pictures of them so that you guys can see, just so I can do this comparison. So as you can see from this shot right here, there's two different um, batches they um not too bad i think they're both full service i can't really remember what they are but i know i know i took a screenshot of two orders um i think one was for 17 and one was for nine and then there was also another order that popped up in the amount of 36 dollars. but because of the distance and the mileage on that um for me it was going to take me about 30 minutes to get there because it was a 20 mile drive and then the customer was an additional um distance away so i didn't take that order and then there was another order that came in um in the amount or there are several orders that came in that were around 14 dollars and 16 dollars and a lot of these were delivery only however a lot of these were far away 20 mile drive anywhere from 10 to 13 miles to 20 mile drive which is another point that i wanted to bring up for you guys because um i had someone say that they were on shift and five hours they didn't get anything but they noticed that when they're not on shift they see a lot of on-demand batches pop up so this is my own personal opinion i am not an expert i have not verified this information i don't want anyone to say well you don't know that for sure i'm telling you i don't know this for sure this is just my own thinking using common sense so what i think happens is when you um hold on one second all right, you guys, sorry about that. So I had to check my Sunday dinner. I smelled my rice cooking. But anyways, like I was saying, this is just my own personal opinion of what's going on when that happens. So I think that when you're on shift, what Instacart tries to do is send you to the grocery store that is closest to you. They're not going to risk sending you somewhere that may be 30, 45 minutes away um, because it messes with their customer service standards and they want to make sure above all else that the, the, the order gets to the customer on time. If you notice, for those of you who are already shopping but are still new, probably haven't paid attention because I haven't, whenever you're in the store and you're actually shopping or when you're done i'll say when you're done shopping it'll give you tips on how to pick up your speed and it'll say things like don't spend too much time on replacements that's because they're trying to get you to get that order to the customer at the time that they promised hold on mommy duties okay 
heard my baby crying upstairs, had to run to the rescue. So anyways, like I was saying, um, nine times out of ten, oh, what was I saying? Sorry, I got mommy brain. Um, oh, yeah, because they promised the customer, let's just say that they want the meal or the food to get there by 1150 it's gonna take you 45 minutes to get there. Even if it's 10.30, you still have to take into consideration the time it's gonna take you to actually shop that order depending on how small or how large it is. So, when you're working on ship, I'm gonna say, because this is what I have experienced at nine times out of 10, they're gonna send you to a grocery store that is no more than three, I'll say five miles at the most. It's possible that it may be further than that, but they're not gonna risk send you somewhere that's 20 miles and above. Um, when you're off shift, because you're off shift, you have the um, choice. You can choose to say, okay, I'm gonna take this order even though I know that it's 20 miles away from me or I'm not and know that it's not gonna count against your acceptance rate or anything like that. You don't have that choice necessarily when you're working on shift. I mean, you can choose to decline certain orders, but it counts against you when you do that when you're working on shift because they expect you to accept, even though they don't say that, they say you have a right, but at the same time, they also penalize you by declining your acceptance rate if you don't accept the order if you're working on a scheduled shift. So I think that that's why it is, whereas you're not receiving as many orders. Maybe at the time when you're working on shift, there isn't as many orders available that's close to you. So let's just say, for example, for me, I am working in Orange County. Um, I can work anywhere from the city of Whittier all the way to the city of Westminster or Anaheim or Irvine. And mind you, Irvine is about 25, 30 miles away from me. And from the research that I have done, looking at the address of certain stores that have come up, it can be even further than that. So let's just say I'm working on a scheduled shift and they have millions, or not millions, but they have several different um uh, batch requests that are coming in over there in Irvine. Here, here I am all the way over here in Whittier. It's going to take me an hour to get there. Nine times out of ten, they're going to send those orders for Irvine to drivers that are already working in the city of Irvine. It just makes logical sense. But I, on the other hand, may be scheduled, may not have anybody that is making any order requests or at least not as many near me in the city of Whittier. So that's just my own personal, like I said, that's my personal opinion. I have not verified um, this information with anybody. That's just um, just my own personal thinking because it has happened to me. Like I said, results for yesterday to me are not typical. In the time that I have been doing Instacart in these short three weeks, I have not earned that much money in one day. But I think that um, the earnings potential is definitely much higher, in my opinion, with on-demand batches because you have the ability to pick and choose. You can choose orders as small as 5 to $7. You can choose orders as big. I've seen orders as big as $41, $42. Um, of course, like I said, those the distance, there's a distance. You know what I mean? But it's a choice. I can choose to say I'm going to take this order. So I know that for sure with just the batches that I showed you guys on the screen, the one for $36 plus the fact that I already have $37 that I made today just from doing on demand um, and the other smaller batches for $15 here, $16 there, $17 there, I would have been well over $100 today. I could have knocked out, I could have chosen to do at the very minimum five twenty dollar batches because there were several twenty dollar batches that came through today more than five so i could have just taken five twenty dollar batches and already been at a hundred dollars whereas yesterday i only got four batches during my six hour shift on top of that majority of that was tip money the very first order was forty five dollars and that was including an eighteen dollar tip so just think if i hadn't have gotten that order most likely from what I've been getting working with Instacart would have all been smaller batches, $13, $14, um, 20 items, 30 units, something around that line. So um, that's my comparison for this weekend. Of course, I'm going to do a full week of on-demand batching because, um, as you guys know, those actually count for your hours too. So if you have both options in your zone where you can do both on-demand and work on a scheduled shift, 
I highly, I highly suggest that you do the research yourself, do a comparison just like I did, just to see if it's better for you to work on with on demand or if it's better for you to do um, working on shifts or you can do a combination of both. I have hours scheduled tomorrow from 11 to 1, but from Tuesday to Friday, I'm going to be doing on demand and even tomorrow because it's just 11 to 1, I'm still going to be doing some more on demand batches. Um, so yeah, that's my comparison. That's my little opinion i think that on demand is wonderful and a couple of people have messaged me and said the same thing that they feel like on demand is the bomb is verbatim what they've said but you know what i mean you got to be quick at grabbing those orders because just as soon as that 36 dollars order popped up it can be gone in a second so um yeah i'm gonna leave you guys on that note because i'm going to enjoy the rest of my father's day um, I've got some food cooking, and yeah, I'm just going to relax, because let me tell you something, I was, I burned myself out yesterday. When I tell you I didn't get no break, I was going and going and going and going and going. I think all I had was probably that 50-minute break, and it wasn't even a break, because I had to come home and make lunch for all six of these kids. So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day, relax. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely make sure that you like this video, you guys. Comment down below. Let me know how on demand is working for you. If you think the opposite of what I think, if you think that working on shift is better, if you don't have on demand, just let me guys know what you guys got going on in your area. Was it busy this weekend for Father's Day? Did you make good money? What was y'all payouts? Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know. Definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.